Hey everybody, Shane here, Shoebox Legends. Thanks for joining me for the first of a three-part series that I'm going to do this week on the channel covering my three different cheese boxes that I use to store my incoming card pickups. Uh, I live here in New England and we have a lot of antique stores around and things like that and you find these wooden boxes from time to time that were used back in the day to deliver cheese and they are the perfect size to hold uh, either penny sleeved or top loaded cards. And so what I do is when I buy cards online uh, and they come in, they get stored in these and then I rummage through them here on the channel, pulling cards out. And once I pull the cards out, I actually catalog them and process them and add them into sort of my proper collection. So I have three different cheese boxes and I was asked recently uh, in a comment kind of how many I had and or whether they were all the same and what the differences were. So I figured I would do a rummage in each of the three, do one video each uh, over the course of the week here. And uh, that might be kind of a fun series. So we're gonna start with this Wilson certified cheese box. This one holds uh, exclusively cards that I picked up from ComC. Uh, I love browsing around, uh, putting in some store credit and uh, cruising through ComC, trying to find some new unique cards to add to the collection. So let's see what I've picked up on that site. And we start with an awesome one here. Check out this Sean Doolittle. Uh, I'm pretty confident this is my only Sean Doolittle card in my entire collection. It's from 2020 Stadium Club Chrome. And I went with this. It's an X-Fractor. You can see that checkerboard design. But the obvious star of the show here is the Washington Nationals bullpen cart with the helmet on top. How cool is that? Uh, saw this image and just uh, instantly... Fell in love with it. That's probably a 50 cent or maybe a 30 cent card, uh, but I just really, really love that. How often do you see a bullpen cart on a baseball card? Just really cool stuff. Uh, next up, got a hockey insert here from the first year of the revived Metal Universe set back in 2020 from Upper Deck. This is the retro Steven Stamkos, 500 goal scorer in the NHL. Big fan of this guy, and I love the planetary theme of these retro cards. Uh, this is the Purple Spectrum. These look really nice and they are numbered to 199. You can see on the back I have copy 83 of 199. Um, these are, I've referenced before, sort of like a poor man's precious metal gems. Um, when it comes to Metal Universe, everybody thinks of the PMGs. Those are kind of the big cards to pull. Uh, they're numbered to 100, uh, but these purples are kind of equally cool, I think, and uh, they're numbered to 199. So. Nice Stamkos there. Underrated player in the modern NHL. Uh, how about a Darth Vader next? We go from baseball to hockey to Star Wars. This is the inaugural top Star Wars high-tech release, that acetate cardstock. And uh, I just, if I find a tech Vader like this with that great rainbow foil for like a buck or two, it's just really hard for me to resist. Even if it's a duplicate, I'm um, just kind of slowly filling up a a Z folio with all Star Wars cards. And so that Vader will uh, will go into that binder at the conclusion of today's rummage. And we have back-to-back -back Star Wars from a more recent, this is the 2017 Star Wars high tech. We have the Han Solo. Great image there of Harrison Ford. Really, really dig that one. Top Star Wars high tech is just a, a great set. I really, really dig that set. And how about football? We are moving all over the map today. This is really showing the randomness of my purchases on uh, on Com C. This Johnny Unitas is from uh, 2019 Panini Select, and it is the uh, tricolor prism, red, white, and blue. Uh, shout out! I have a couple buddies who are Colts fans. Um, Andy over at D's Collection and Jason at Contrarian Cards. They may they may find this one cool. I just uh. I love Johnny Unitas, you know, one of the all-time greats. And this is just, this was like a dollar or less. And it's going to go into my uh, my football card Z folio where I'm housing my very small and kind of sad football card collection. Uh, we'll go towards the middle part of the box next. And how about basketball? We are, we are covering every sport here. Um, pretty amazing. We've got baseball, basketball, football, and hockey and some non-sports, uh, and we're only four minutes in here. So that's uh, that's incredible stuff there. Kareem Abdul-Jabbar, love it. This is a Panini Prism, red, white, and blue. Love that shine and, and that etching. Uh, the lighting in here is uh, not great this morning for shiny cards, but 
can still see how neat this one is and uh, really, really dig that. That's heading into the basketball Z folio as well. Football and basketball, I don't really collect, so I just have one binder of each. And if I run across something that's cool and cheap, I'll just kind of randomly throw it in there. And uh, we continue on now with soccer. We have now truly touched on everything. Uh, the four major North American sports plus soccer and non-sport. I don't think that's ever happened to me in a cheese box rummage before. Uh, but check out this Yoan Wiesa uh, from Brentford. The Brentford Bees uh, picked this one up early in the Premier League season this year because uh, I picked him for my fantasy team in fantasy soccer. And this is a great color match red ice or red atomic rookie card. Looks great with the red of the Brentford Bees. He's had a pretty decent season. Uh, got off to like a scorching start and then kind of slowed down a little. He's been injured at times, but cool card either way. Uh, back to hockey. And one, I, I swear I've probably shown 10 copies of this card by now, uh, but I'm a huge believer in this. Connor McDavid on the 2018 Upper Deck Canvas facing off against Sidney Crosby, two of the all-time best. And uh, I love the image. It reminds me of the Kobe LeBron card from 2008 Tops. Just uh, really cool to get two greats uh, on the same piece of cardboard in natural game action. Uh, next up, we got another exclusives here. My favorite parallel in the hockey card universe, numbered to 100. They go all the way back to the late 90s. And here we have Braden Point, of the Tampa Bay Lightning. Second Lightning card of the rummage following that Steven Stamkos that we saw uh, towards the beginning. Uh, not too much to say about this. I think Point is a sneaky good player. He's had some good seasons and uh, was able to get that one cheap. We're going to go to the right portion of the box now. These tend to be oversized cards, and here is a real winner. Uh, this one checks a couple of boxes for me. Uh, Jim Gilliam on the 1955 Tops design. Um, I picked this up because I'm slowly building a 55 Tops set, uh, kind of reluctantly. Uh, set, set building is not really my thing, but... Um, I do love this release, and it seems uh, kind of deceptively easy at just a couple hundred cards. I, I know it's going to be a challenge, uh, but I do have the Clemente, and I do have the Kofax, so I have a couple of the bigger cards dealt with. And then the other reason this is a great card, uh, I am focusing this year on uh, former Negro League players in my collection, and Gilliam was, of course, a bridge player who started in the Negro Leagues before transitioning over uh, to the Brooklyn Dodgers and taking over the second base position uh, from Jackie Robinson. So cool card there. Uh, I showed his 57 tops in a recent episode, and I'm really glad to have the, the 55 to put with it. Uh, here's a cool Ken Griffey Jr. pink refractor, pink wave refractor. This is from uh, 2020 Tops Chrome Update, and uh, I think this is a throwback to a home run derby, uh, the 1994 home run derby, but a great image of Ken there. And I love any any Tops Chrome refractor. Uh, of somebody on the caliber or, you know, the the skill level of Ken Griffey Jr. is uh, just hard to ignore. He's one of my uh, hobby Mount Rushmore faces. He was just, you know, in the in the early 90s, late 80s, early 90s, Griffey was the man. Um, everyone that I knew playing Little League back then wanted to uh, emulate the kid. And uh, he just had such a beautiful natural swing and so much fun uh, playing the game that it was hard not to be enamored by him. Uh, we're at eight minutes and change, so let's keep going here. Uh, all right. I'll confess, this is a card I would not buy anymore. I bought this, you know, probably a couple of years back. Uh, it is the Will Middlebrooks Rookie out of uh, 2012 Tops Chrome, and it's the Orange Refractor. Now, I bought this because I, I was building a team set of the Orange Refractors for the Red Sox from like 2012, uh, 13, and 14. I was trying to gather those together. Needed this Middlebrooks. Uh, for those who don't recognize the name, this guy came onto the scene uh, and really left an amazing impression early in his career. He looked like he was going to maybe hold down the third base spot uh, for the Red Sox for years to come. Uh, seemed like he was going to be super talented, but then he never really panned out. So he's kind of just a local uh, brief fan favorite that uh, probably not many people outside of Boston will remember here, you know, 10 or 12 years later. Let's go to the right portion of the box. We got another hockey card here of a rainbow color wheel of Leon Dreisaitl, teammate of the great Connor McDavid, who we saw earlier in today's rummage. Uh, these are EPAC exclusives that you can only get uh, via EPAC and ComC. So cool Dreisaitl there. It's a little bit dizzying if you tilt that around enough. And how about a Sapphire Whit Merrifield? I, I like this guy. 
Um, he's, you know, not widely collected, doesn't get a ton of hobby respect. This was like a less than 50 cent card, but uh, I'm a sucker for a Sapphire or Atomic finish on cards. And uh, I do like Merrifield, um, very solid player, collecting hits and swiping bags and uh, patrolling the middle infield uh, for a number of years now. Not anybody who's ever going to get enshrined or anything like that, but uh, just a fun player to watch and somebody I'd be happy to have on my team if I was a general manager. Uh, how about another exclusives card? And this one is uh, a much better player than the last uh, time around, if I do say so myself. Henrik Zetterberg, longtime captain of the Detroit Red Wings. And I love this uh, bright red Red Wings gear on this card and sweater. Um, and yeah, I just, I can't pass these up of Hall of Fame or future Hall of Fame players uh, when the price is just a couple bucks. I love, love, love these parallels. I don't even know how many exclusives uh, hockey parallels I own at this point, but I'd probably be embarrassed if I did a tally. And let's do one more oversized card. We're going to finish it today with our second 55 tops card of the rummage featuring Art Fowler for the Cincinnati Redlegs. Look at that great Mr. Redlegs logo on this card. That is the highlight of this one to me. Uh, but again, that great yellow, just like the Jim Gilliam that you often see on, on the 55 tops release. And uh, yeah, two cards closer after today's rummage to... Uh, an eventual 1955 top set. And this is card number three on the checklist. So working through that early portion, uh, of course, the high number cards are the real challenge uh, in that release, but it's a marathon, not a sprint. And I'm happy to be two cards closer after today's rummage. I hope you saw something you enjoyed. We're going to call it there today. Uh, we certainly, you know, hit a wide variety between vintage and modern, every one of the major sports and non-sports. Um, so a good illustration of uh, the randomness that exists uh, in the first cheese box, the Wilson Certified Com C cheese box. So tune back in uh, in a couple days here and I will have installment number two up in the cheese box series where we dive into the Sante cream cheese box. So until then, uh, take care and enjoy the hobby, everybody. See ya.